Hello there. This time, we are going to look at a demo of the admin ahead LMD manager extension for Plisk. As suggested in the name, this extension helps in managing by providing a friendly user interface for the Linux malware detect, more commonly known as LMD, which helps in scanning and quarantining detected malicious codes or files. What you see on the screen now is the home page for the extension. And of the six tabs you see, under the home tab, an option to install LMD in the server is there in case it is not already done. Once clicked, the installation will automatically complete in just a matter of seconds. After that, you can set the email address to which the reports are to be sent. There are also options to enable or disable email alerts, automatic quarantine, automatic clean, and as you know, automatic clean allows automatic cleaning of the malware for which the cleaner rules exist. The cleanse files are restored to original location with default permission. In case of automatic quarantine, all permissions are stripped and they move to the quarantine path. In the scan tab, you can choose to scan either the document root of all user accounts or specify the path to scan. Once that is done, click on scan to complete it. The logs for scanning that is complete can be seen in the same place. The next step, ignore options, allows us to specify those paths and files that are to be exempted during the scanning. The scan report tab gives you all details and reports of the scanning done and the quarantine tab allows to quarantine and restore based on the scan ID of the previous scans done. Finally, the real-time monitoring tab allows us to choose whether to monitor users or paths. Under users, we can choose whether to monitor the entire home directories or just the document roots of the user accounts. In case of path, this just needs to be specified. The newly created files and directories are scanned no matter which option we select, that is whether it is user or path. Please note that the time interval or scanning for the scanning can also be set. Let's look at the demonstration to understand better. For starters, I have downloaded ACAR standard antivirus test file from ACAR's website that can simulate a viral effect on the server. Now, as a user, I select the document root of all user accounts. Please note that I have selected automatic quarantine as no and automatic clean as no, just to do that manually. So the scanning takes place now. And as you see, the scanning is in the progress. And this can be seen under the scan tab as you see. Once complete, the entire report can be seen under the scan report tab. Now, we can proceed with quarantining the infected files which has the scan ID highlighted in red by clicking on the quarantine button against it. Just in case you want to view the infected files, click on the corresponding scan ID. As you see, once the quarantine is done, the restore button appears and this allows restorations of files individually or by selecting from the option. Finally, I select a time interval and click on monitor home directories under user. In the backend, I copy the test malware file again under document root of the user account. So here we see the logs for monitoring being done and to see if any changes has happened. If any changes has happened, they are scanned to detect for any malicious files and this happens every 30 seconds because we set it in, in the time interval. Reports will be sent to the specified email address every day. Finally, that sums up the how-to of admin ahead LMD manager extension for Plesk. You can find the knowledge base at adminahead.com slash portal slash knowledge base. Click on chat in case you need assistance. Thank you and bye.